best. The car is, is very well put together. It's very, very much uh, a lot of quality material has been used. There are some elements that still using but you think well maybe maybe you'll give up with that one uh, for example you have a lot of piano black creeping into cars um, piano black shows the fingerprints um, we're, in, we're in a country where you're always getting sweaty greasy fingers so is that is that a wise choice here but that aside it's cleanable most, uh, most of the gadgets on this are, are actually touch and push, so it's a lot more up to date buttons and functions within your car. So I'm, I'm cruising along 100 k's an hour, and that's pretty much what I've been doing unless I've been sort of back street testing the car to see you know, how it handles it in And that uh, 100 Ks has, has taken me all the way to Ras al back up to Abu Dhabi, it's, and I'm still on the same tank of fuel as was given to me when I picked the car up. It's uh, a 2 litre TSI engine, so there's a, a turbo engine. It's running uh, 320 horsepower. Some books may say 315. Uh, the information I've been given is 320. It's a lot of horsepower. It's an all-drive system. It's certainly very capable when it comes to corners, getting the vehicle around. If I go into some of the functions, so as you can see, this is our main menu anyway. Within the menu, we, we have a number of different functions for the telephone, the radio, navigation, vehicle changes, and we can even go as far as, as changing the, uh, the background elements in the car. And I'll show this in uh, another small part of the video that will be in the screen, but uh, we can change all the background colors. We can change all of the, the views on the dash. In fact, we can, we can change that now, actually. So if I press on here, there's a, a small button that says view. You can change the, the dashboard to a view that you, you may prefer. Yeah, and it depends on the system that you may be using. So sometimes, uh, for example, this one here is showing me the distance monitoring system. Uh, which helps me to, when setting the cruise control, helps me to, to keep away from the cars in front. Uh, anti-collision I should say, uh, but it helps me keep away from the cars in front, and then just the uh, normal screen. But again, like I say, all the, all the colours change, so if I go into the settings, you'll see, you'll see a number of different uh, colours available. I'm, I'm set, sitting here on Eternity, I seem to like the teal colour. We have Desire with a blue, the red Euphoria, Vitality, and then another couple of settings. Uh, to change the amount of light as well, so you can have very bright or very dim light by going to this. Yeah, so we can set up the colours to our, our personal tastes and just change the hue that comes across as well. More functions on the car then. We've got functions to be able to charge our telephones. So down here I've got my telephone plugged into a USB-C. In the same area, if your phone is uh, wireless charging, you just put your phone down in this wireless charging area, you won't need the cable. Uh, it also has CarPlay. It's a CarPlay for Android and for iOS. So you can plug in the CarPlay through the, the C-Type cable, or you can use the CarPlay through Bluetooth of your phone. Plenty of space for drinks. You see, I've got a nice drink here keeping me cool. 
um, the cup holders are adjustable, so adjust to the thickness of a, of a cup or a bottle that you've got. Side pockets, I mean, I'm, I'm here with my sunglasses holder anyway, but it's, it's roughly the size of a thick bottle. Put them in there for a couple of small water bottles. I wouldn't be able to get a, a larger one in there. The space in the back is reasonable. And again, there's a few areas for putting uh, bottles in the side pockets. So you've got plenty of room for, for basic drinks along your way. The air conditioning is dual zone, so that keeps things nice and comfortable. And you've also got, not that you need it over here, is the heated seats and vented seats. Now I've got the vented seats on right, right this minute. I'm quite enjoying the, the draft at the back of my legs and through the, the lower back from the seats that you can see on the, the seats, the ventilated and perforated leather. So on the other functions, we have the, the cruise control, which is all set up on here. It's uh, in some Volkswagen's you get it down the side, but we have it here, so we can turn it on and off, we can reset the cruise control, but we can also set the distance as well, so if we, if we press the distance we see on, on the bottom here, a small sort of triangle, which allows us to set the distance we wish to be from the, the car in front, or any, as it's an anti-collision, or any car that might just jump in front of us, which uh, very often happens here. also got um, parking sensors all the way around, there's cameras front and back. Again I can show those uh, in a small video on the screen somewhere. And yeah, it's pretty good. I'm uh, quite impressed with the handling of the car, the performance of the car. It's a lot quicker, and if, if I'm correct, the last Golf model was a 288, 290 approximately horsepower. Obviously, this, as mentioned, is now 320 through an all-wheel drive system, but all from a 2-litre engine. They're doing uh, quite well with these 2-litre these engines, and in terms of sticking a, a turbo or two in, in cars, that keeps that power and the boost up and it's not too hungry when, when that boost kicks in as well it doesn't want to shake the car it doesn't want to run you across the road um, with oversteer understeer issues and tracking issues when you, you plant your foot on the accelerator it is a very typical car for, for tripoding as we say so if you're going around the roundabouts you will find that Either or of the back wheels may start to raise up. Um, when that happens, obviously the car will start to twitch a little bit, but you'll, you'll soon feel that one. One more thing is the car's got um, a heated steering wheel. So down here we have a heated steering wheel button, which can be a little bit intrusive when you're driving so even with the cup of your hand it's possible to turn this on i've done it once myself driving along and then all of a sudden the, the wheel's starting to feel a little bit warm so you have to watch some of the buttons here and the same here with the uh, drive uh, mode there's a small r uh, in blue on this left hand side and if i press this get the drive modes come up on the screen. Yes we have a comfort, a race, an individual, but we also have a drift mode on this car. I have not tried it and it doesn't bother me either, but uh, and we have a, a special Nürburgring mode, which I believe, and I'm, uh, I still have to find that out, but the Nürburgring mode giving you settings that allow you to get around the Nürburgring in the fastest, smoothest way possible. Now if that's correct, then uh, 
hopefully at some point they'll update all these firmwares and the settings on these ECUs so maybe you can have Dubai Autodrome or, or Abu Dhabi's Yas Marina track on there as well. But uh, we'll see, and I, I'm still yet to find out what Nurburgring mode actually does uh, for sure. They, they put uh, a G meter. So if you're turning your corners very hard, you'll start to see the, the numbers rising left or right. Or if you're braking very hard, you'll get the, the numbers top and bottom, braking acceleration, it's showing you how many G's the car, the car will be pulling uh, while you're driving this in one of the performance modes. It does have a, an eco mode as well on the car selectable by the same so when you select comfort the car will drive eco and it's, it's visible again on the dashboard it means you'll get the best out of your miles per gallon there's also blind spot on here as well so we have the blind spot if we look at our mirrors uh, might be visible on the camera there but there's a, a small rectangle shape there so when someone comes into the blind spot which hopefully will happen very soon there you go then at least you have a, a warning that somebody's in that area the, the visuals anyway aren't too bad it's quite quite a, a good mirror to central mirror setup and there's a very the blind spot is very very small so it's not too bad considering you're you're in a car that in general, you're going to be uh, throwing around every now and then. You need to be very aware of your surroundings. So.